Hello, this is Mark, your Madison Cork Dork. Yesterday, I concluded my GSM Rome Blend series. Today, I will begin my series on the Red Bordeaux Blend. I'll start with a refresher on two of the six noble grapes that are used in the blend, Carmenier and Cabernet Franc. Bordeaux is a particular region of France that is just off the Atlantic coast, so a general picture of France. This little purple area is Bordeaux, and to get even closer, here in Bordeaux we have the left bank, the right bank, and other areas of Bordeaux winemaking as well. Okay, so on to the first grape, which is Carmenier. As you may recall, Carmenier was thought to be extinct after the phylloxera epidemic of the late 19th century. Phylloxera is a pest that wreaks havoc on the vines on which grapes grow. It is quite similar to aphids. Once the epidemic was over, Bordeaux winemakers determined that it was no longer profitable to include Carmenier in the process of making red Bordeaux, so it was slowly phased out. However, the Carmenier grape was inadvertently saved by Chileans when they unknowingly brought it to the New World in the 19th century. They thought they were bringing over Merlot vines only. Instead, they also happened to bring over Carmenier vines. This glorious mishap was discovered in 1992 by wine geneticists. The reason behind the research was that certain Merlot grapes were going at a faster rate than other grapes. It was originally attributed to where the grapes were grown. However, something appeared off, so the research went underway. Today, Chile is the number one grower of Carmenier, whereas France is number five. Carmenier is a medium-bodied red wine that is very dry. It has a medium level of tannin as well as acidity and alcohol. Flavors and smells that come with Carmenier are raspberry, green pepper, black plum, paprika, and vanilla. Next, we have Cabernet Franc, or as I also sometimes will refer to in this video as Cab Franc. Cab Franc is the parent grape of both Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon, which are two other grapes that are used for the blend. Cab Franc is used as an insurance crop, for lack of better words, should there be a low yield of Cabernet Sauvignon for the year. Bordeaux is one of those locations in the world where vintage variation is much more drastic. Another region in France where Cabernet Franc is successful is in the Chenin region of the Loire Valley. It was brought up to this region by Cardinal Richelieu when he served as the first minister to King Louis XIII, which is a position of considerable power. Another fun location where Cobb Franc grows is Virginia. I think actually this is the most interesting development in the American wine world. Also another fun fact is that Cobb Franc can be made into ice wine. Ice wine, you may recall, is picked once the temperatures reach 20 degrees Fahrenheit or below. After that, it is pressed immediately. Cobb Franc is a medium-bodied red wine and is very dry. It has a medium level of tannin and alcohol. Also, Cobb Franc has a medium-high level of acidity. The smells and tastes you can expect from Cobb Franc are strawberry, raspberry, bell pepper, crushed gravel, and chili pepper. Anyway, this is Mark, your Madison Cork Dork. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock, I'll be going over another grape that is used in the Bordeaux Red Blend, Malbec. And as always, thanks for watching.